Do you want to turn a noisy room into a peaceful haven? Then you need to know the science of soundproofing. Soundproofing is not just about putting some foam on the walls. It is a delicate art that combines physics and engineering to create the ultimate serene space. This is Physics Daily and we will find out the physics of soundproofing so let's get started. Let's start with the fundamental question, what is soundproofing? At its core, soundproofing involves absorbing, reducing, and preventing the transmission of sound. Visualize those iconic foamy walls in recording studios, that's soundproofing in action. While it's a staple in professional settings like recording studios and offices, it's increasingly finding its way into residential spaces, especially in homes with shared walls. Now, let's dig into the intricate science behind soundproofing. There are two primary types of noise, airborne and impact. Airborne noise, the kind we encounter most frequently, travels through the air. This includes sounds like conversations, loud TV noise, and music. On the other hand, impact sound is a common woe in apartments, where the noise from above, such as footsteps, disrupts the peace. Soundproofing addresses these issues through three key methods. The first involves adding mass to walls, creating a barrier that reduces or converts noise into heat. Another method focuses on preventing sound from traveling between structures. The third, known as sound absorption, entails adding materials that absorb and reduce noise within a space. There's a crucial distinction between absorbing noise within a room and preventing it from entering or leaving. Although these may seem similar, combining these elements yields the most impressive results. Reducing, absorbing, and decoupling are the three essential components of soundproofing that, when applied together, create a harmonious blend of serenity. Reducing sound involves minimizing and preventing it from escaping or entering a room. This is achieved through insulation materials acting as barriers against noise transmission. Common materials include room dividers, temporary walls, curtains, and foam, often composed of fiberglass or wood. Creating an airtight barrier is also effective, although achieving complete airtightness can be challenging. One popular method involves constructing two walls or doors with air in between, the dual barrier blocks sound, while the airspace enhances the effect. While reducing noise is effective, it introduces a new challenge, echoes. Thick walls and doors can bounce sound, creating an unwanted echo effect. To counter this, softer materials, such as dense foam, are employed to absorb the sound within the room. These materials can be applied either inside or outside walls. However, sound absorption materials are most effective when combined with dedicated soundproofing materials. Acoustic decoupling, often referred to as a room within a room, entails constructing two separate spaces using solid and heavy materials. Crucially, these two spaces cannot touch, as direct contact would allow sound to travel through. The inner room is typically supported by small clips, and its walls are lined with materials possessing sound-absorbing qualities. Now that we understand the methods let's explore how to effectively block out sound. This involves three key approaches, space, mass, and dampening. Space is a simple concept we encounter in everyday life. For instance, if there's a noisy bar down the street, you probably can't hear it from your home due to the substantial distance. The space acts as a natural barrier, preventing the noise from reaching you. Mass is another straightforward method. The more mass between the noise source and your room, the less audible the noise becomes. Think of closing the door to your laundry room to muffle the sound of a washing machine, it's a simple yet effective mass-based solution. Dampening, while a bit more complex, is highly effective. It involves forcing sound waves through multiple layers, absorbing the sound along the way. This dampening process reduces the sound's ability to vibrate, making it one of the most efficient ways to soundproof a room. The beauty of soundproofing lies in its versatility. Virtually every part of your house can be soundproofed, from windows and doors to floors and walls. Sound has a knack for finding even the smallest gaps, so a thorough inspection of your space is crucial. Whether you're in a bustling apartment building or a spacious home, you can tailor your soundproofing efforts to suit your specific needs. For those living in apartments, soundproofing the ceiling can mitigate noise from above. Similarly, the floor can be fortified with added mass to ensure you're not the noisy neighbor disturbing those below. And there you have it, the symphony of silence. Soundproofing isn't merely about halting noise, 
it's about crafting a space where tranquility reigns supreme. Whether you're a music enthusiast, a professional recording artist, or someone who simply craves peace and quiet, understanding the physics of soundproofing empowers you to orchestrate your environment to perfection. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the world of soundproofing. If you found this information valuable, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Physics Daily. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the science that shapes our everyday lives.